Rick, are you guys healthy, healthier? You know, I, I, not totally. You know, we still have some guys that are a little bit under the weather, and uh, but um, I think most teams go through it at some point in time, a lot maybe this time of year. But the uh, fact is we've got some guys that um, when, they're, when they're down, that we've been fortunate to have some other guys take advantage of that opportunity. And we're looking forward to everybody getting healthy and, and uh, so we can get going and get some rhythm back to where we want to be. But I'm really, I've said it the other day, I'm really proud of our guys because we have some guys that were really under the weather and they, they fought through it and uh, and really gave us everything they could. And But uh, I'm sure we've got a couple guys that I think out today, but maybe by tomorrow we can get a good report. Is it kind of Ziggler leads the SEC and assist in SEC games only? Would you talk about how efficient he's been and if you plan to keep him in the starting lineup? Yeah, we're, we're going to go with this lineup and, and uh, Again, if everybody's healthy, that's that's when it comes time to go. But uh, really proud of him and what he's doing, and, and just watching him really start to understand the game and what that position calls for, and the fact that uh, he's embraced it and uh, he's uh, doing a great job. And he's only going to get better, learning how to manage games and manage his teammates. And uh, really proud of Tyreek. I mean, Ty again, we were not getting anything at the rim until Tyreek came in the game and. I think it shows his maturity and the way we look at it, you know, we got six, seven starters and, and I think our guys' maturity shows that, but uh, uh, really like this team and the fact that it's, it's a very unselfish group of guys. I know you said you like the rebounding of Tyreek on Saturday, but I think if you were finding a shot more than, than maybe a moment, how much more do you need that from him? Well, we do need because he's good at it. And uh, when he gets his feet set and he gets good looks, and, and you know, he's the one guy that can, can get a shot off uh, even when he's closely contested, and we need him to do that. But uh, he's worked hard at not just impacting the game that way but other ways. And, and like the other day, his defense was really good, and, and uh, but he really was a guy that I thought that br brought that initial thrust because, you know, they were doing a good job early, keeping us off the glass. And when he came in the game, um, he really – Got, got aggressive, got to the glass and did some things. Josiah played 30 minutes both games last week. Do you think he's where he's at with his conditioning that y'all can play him as much as y'all need him to? I, well, I think he would do it just out of sheer toughness. But, uh, you know, maybe he's playing a little bit too much right now. But we are, we know that we can't assimilate uh, what he needs for games other than games this time of year. And uh, he's going to, he'll keep getting better with that, his conditioning. He'll he'll do that. And, and uh, but, um Again, everything is game to game. We talked about the players, and when guys are playing good, and we're going to ride that wave with them. And but uh, he'll he'll play as many minutes as I know that that we would need him. But I'd like to think that we can keep him under 30 if we can. Coach, when you watch it on tape, what do you think about the lineup with Josiah at the four? And when you say you're going to keep that lineup, is that what you're talking about? You know, it, it's good because you, you, we've got experience out there, and, and uh, we've got uh, you know Josiah's a, another guy that defensively really understands scout reports, and you put him out there with Zakai and and um, and Santi, two guys that really they really like in on scout reports. I mean, they're uh, they're really good at it, and they can do a lot of different things, and, and they're what I would call fix it guys. Got to get O back to being a consistent guy that can really help that line up. And, and Julian is going to get better and better. You know, he's he's certainly getting more aggressive on offense. He's going to have to figure out a way to keep himself out of foul trouble early. Uh, know where he needs to get that thrust to the glass and, and not foul. But uh, uh, overall, you know, it was a lineup that we thought we would play a lot coming into the year, but we didn't get a chance to work on it because of Josiah being out. And but the good thing about it is. We, we through these uh, through the season so far, we've been able to play different lineups, and that's what's been good about this team that we can play different ways with different guys. Is it rare for a sophomore like Zakai to be one of the guys that's most locked in the scouting reports? Yeah, well, he you know it's and I I know I overuse the term DNA, but it is in his DNA. I mean, he's just going to fight with whatever he's got to get through screens and takes things. He's a he's a high level competitor. Uh, he's going to do whatever he can and, and uh, sometimes it when he's not playing well it hurts him because he wants to fix it right then and right there that's where I think he's gotten better with his poise knowing that hey you know he's not gonna make every shot he's not gonna make every play can't go to the rim when he gets upset and just throw up a contested shot he's that's where he's getting so much better with his overall game but uh, he and 
And Santi, again, Saturday just did a terrific job. You know, they had two guys going into the game that we knew we were going to, have to put a lot of focus on, and one being a guard, one being a perimeter, uh, I mean, a post player. And, and Santi, for the most part, did a terrific job. Obviously, you coached against Mike White quite a bit. Just kind of what have you seen out of him in this, in this Georgia tenure so far? You know, Mike's going to win wherever he goes. Uh, he, he's a terrific coach, and I mean, he did a terrific job at Georgia. I mean, at, at Florida, and he'll do a terrific job at Georgia. Uh, Mike's teams are going to be defensively; they're going to they're going to guard you. They're going to they're going to make you work on every possession. And being the coach that he is, he'll find a way with what he needs to do with his team offensively. And a guy that it means to continue to tweak what he needs to do throughout, he'll do that. But they're going to play hard. They're going to be aggressive, and uh, they're going anything that's fundamentally to go with this game. His teams are going to be really good at it. Coach, the guys have Georgia and Texas this week. The ladies have UConn. Talk about, and, and game day's coming in a couple times. Talk about the big week that it is for Tennessee basketball on, on a national stage. Well, as the further we go into the season, you know, every everything gets magnified and it's bigger. And uh, it's a compliment to our program and certainly to the University of Texas program that game day thinks this, this is the place to be on Saturday. But before we get there, we've got, we've got Georgia. And uh, we know that, uh, believe me, we know that we've got to be ready to play. And, we're certainly locked in to where we are in the SEC and what we'd like to get done. And so we'll look at that one first. And, but uh, I think, again, it's really remarkable, uh, great job that Kelly's doing with the, all she had to deal with early in the year and her, she and her staff. And uh, so I'm not surprised that they are getting it going at the right time because they, they know what they're doing. And uh, again, they had to battle a lot early and get through it. And uh, it seems like they're on their way. There's Jemai, and what are the things that he needs to, to kind of buckle down on right now? Well, again, he's got to still cons continue to be consistent. He's got to do his job defensively and get to the offensive glass. He does that well, too, and those are things that defensively we expect him to give us another guy that can go in and not only guard the ball and and be a, a fixer. Somebody can fix plays on defense, but uh, offensively we just need him to settle down and just let the game come to him. Do you expect to have you roast back? Uh, you know what, Jimmy, I, I don't know. I mean, I haven't heard today. I mean, uh, I'm sure uh, I haven't seen him today, and uh, so I don't know if he'll be I haven't He's expected to be available today. Uh, He's expected to be available today. There you go. Okay. There you we go. Tom, Coach, Dr. Tom Satkovic. That was it. <laughs> Dr. Tom. Coach, where, where's Jonas at in his development and, and consistency right now? Well, you know, know what, again, I, I tell you guys, you know, Jonas has a, a bright future. It, those two things you'll continue to develop and, and be consistent that we know night in and night out what we can get from him you know he he does when he when he really wants to lock in and play he's proven that he can really make an impact in games and uh, he uh, we just need again I talk about roles we just need everybody to understand the role they need to play even if it's not exactly what they want at this point in time and we you guys have watched this year roles change throughout the year and uh, but what we've got to do to get where we, we need to know. We need to understand consistency. Are we going to get certain things uh, from guys every night? Gilmore, what does coaches against cancer mean to you? Well, I, I think every one of us has had someone that's dealt with cancer. We've lost someone. I, I lost a, really my one of my childhood best friends at 43, and, and it's impacted all of us some way, somehow. And, uh, you know, and certainly Last year, going to the Dick Vitale Gala and seeing what work's being done there, we need to all do all we can because every everybody's been impacted by cancer. Everybody, and um, I like to see us work and put funds into it to help someday to bring an end to it any way we can. How do you feel like Tyreek has improved as a leader since joining Tennessee? I think I think Tyreek has definitely added to his game in a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, he's by nature he's quiet, but uh, you know we've Try to tell him, and and, it, and his teammates love him. You know they do, and we put him in some situations this year that he's never been in, and he he embraced it. He's never backed down from any of it, uh, and um, he uh, we're, we're fortunate that we were able to get him because he's been a big impact with our program. Thank you, coach. All right, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you.